Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9. This is your morning briefing where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock. Starting now with news that the Italian stock market fell 5% overnight and European stocks fell 3%. This is after the shock result in the Italian election. There's talk they may need a fresh election, even though Silvio Berlusconi and comedian Beppe Grillo are unkeen on a fresh election. Now, Beppe Grillo's five-star movement did very well in the election, and it, and he, is keen on withdrawing Italy from the euro and defaulting on its debts. As you can expect, this hit the bond market in Italy. Its yields rose 35 basis points overnight. Both Berlusconi and Grillo, two comedians, won 55% of the vote. Both of them want out of the euro, and of course Grillo wants to default on the debt. This has really unnerved financial markets in Europe. However, US stocks actually rose last night after reasonably good housing and consumer confidence figures. Also, Ben Bernanke, the US Federal Reserve chairman, reassured the markets that he would keep them on the stimulus drip. Elsewhere, France's industry minister came out and said he wanted the European Central Bank to intervene in the currency markets to, quote, join the currency war and to do its job. Meanwhile, Rabobank, which is active here in New Zealand, is to be fined for LIBOR rigging by US and UK authorities. This is the first time a major bank operating in New Zealand has been fined for LIBOR rigging. Meanwhile, the New Zealand dollar, it's down this morning at 82.6 US cents. All this volatility on international markets has pulled people back from these riskier assets. The trade weighted index at a one month low of 75.6. I'm Bernard Hickey for interest.co.nz. That was 90 seconds at 9 o'clock.